Hey, everybody. Welcome. How are you? Hope you guys like the new intro. So I stayed up with Miss Erie Pepperoni last night and she made a new intro for me. And trust me, it wasn't easy because trying to combine a little bit of ambiance with a little bit of foodie beauty, that is just difficult. <laughs> If there are two things in this world that are complete opposites, it's relaxing ambiance and foodie beauty. But she did it. You know, we sat there, we talked, and she got some ideas, and she spent a lot of time making that intro. So I would like to say a special thank you to Miss Erie Pepperoni for putting that together. And for those who like the regular ambiance, don't worry. Uh, after my react is over, I will include the regular ambiance video intro that I was using as the outro. So if you want to relax after watching Foodie, you can relax with that. So I hope you like it. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Erie is very talented. Uh, she's done a lot of things for a lot of people off of her channel, made a lot of intros for different people break videos, outros for people like Gary Unfiltered, Hannibal, uh, let's see, Curl Connections. And she does it because she loves it. You know, she's really talented. So thank you so much for making that intro, Gary. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys like it too. So what's been going on? Well, it looks like Foodie's been quite busy with so many things. She has essentially taken over Salah's gaming channel and she started to do gaming content on there. Let's see. The last time I did a react, she played uh, GTA, did some GTA comment, yet all she did was run around GTA punching people, especially women. She crashed a car. <laughs> she couldn't play GTA. <laughs> but guess what? It gets worse. She actually played The Sims. And I've seen The Sims. I've never played the game. Well, you can make characters in game. You can do different things in game. It looks to be a lot of fun. But The Sims was too hard for Foodie. She couldn't figure out The Sims. Imagine that. Somebody who's wanted to take over a gaming channel. And they can't even play The Sims. Salah. That's your gaming channel, bro. And number one, it's your gaming channel. Shouldn't you be doing gaming content? You. You're supposed to be the main focus. And you're letting, letting Foodie take over. And she doesn't know how to game at all. And she doesn't have a sparkling personality. So, yeah. Look, if you're having trouble with The Sims, you're in trouble, period. How are you going to figure out other games if you can't even do The Sims? So she did that. She did a couple of regular eating videos. And she was also driving around Kuwait. Yes, she was. Our girl actually got out of the house and went somewhere. And where did she go? She went to Starbucks, of course. She had herself a little snack run. Yes, I've got thoughts about that. But wait, there's more. She also was raging out in her community posts at French Fry Girl, still going on about BBJ. And before anybody says anything to me, I would like to say that as a reactor to Foodie Beauty, I would like to kind of move past the BBJ subject, the subject of the cats. Not because I don't care about the cats. I very much care but it is a topic that has been talked about in length. You know what I mean? It's just, I feel like we're going in circles with all of this. BBJ was neglected. So was Sam. They both went to better places. BBJ is getting the help and the care that she needs. She's getting healthier. She's doing well. As a matter of fact, she's doing so well that French Fry Girl recently reported that BBJ is in such good health that they can finally, uh, when she takes her to her next visit, they can sedate her to where they can get all of the mats off of her because her health was so poor before 
they could not get all the mats off. And that should tell you how bad the mats were. They could not get all of them off. So trying to say that everything that was wrong with her was because of her age, foodie. No, no, there was there's some serious things going on if a vet can't even get all the mats off in one visit. But I digress. So foodie is still going on and on about the cats. She's still going on and on about French fry girl. And we always hear the same thing in that regard. This is the last time I'm going to talk about it, yet it's not the last time. Whenever Foodie says that, it means she's going to spin in circles with it for the next two or three months. And sorry for the noise. My cat is directly behind me, <laughs> just having a little bit of fun. So a lot of things have happened. A lot of things. See what happens when you take a break from Foodie and you come back. There's just so much to cover, but we're going to cover it. So where do we start first? How about Twitter? How about we just ease into foodie by going on to Twitter? So let me just go ahead and pull up my Twitter. All right. So we got I got some cool stuff to show you on Twitter. I hope that's okay. Some non-foodie related stuff. Very cool stuff. Make you smile a bit. So let me just do this. I'm going to share my screen. We'll start here. All right. So over in France, this is from Fegan. Drones used in the wine festival celebrations illuminated the night. And this was in Bordeaux, France. So 400 drones are making the wine bottle. But wait, it gets better. You'll see in just a second. So we've got the wine glass, also made of drones. And pouring the wine. Isn't that awesome? It's amazing the things that people do with drones. All right. Next post. Oh, that's from Pocket Tarot. I'm saving that on purpose because I want to message that person and say, what tarot deck is this? I need this for my collection. So Pocket Tarot says, you are ready to tackle whatever is thrown your way today. Able to balance your emotions and intuition with practicality to bring about success. What are you waiting for? Get out there and work your magic. Yeah, I'm going to message that person and say, what tarot deck is this? I must buy it. I must have it. <laughs> I use the Rider Weight deck when I do my readings. But I think that's a beautiful deck and I want it. So what deck is this? Anybody know? Let me know in the comments. Okay, this is from D. Angry Scott. D says, foodie making a sim salah after hardcore failing at figuring out how to add a second sim to the household for like 20 minutes. But she's trying to make salah, and I guess she just can't figure it out, even though this is stupid simple, foodie. Really? You can't figure this out? And you're taking over a gaming channel? You suck. But let's watch the clip. Oh, they're playing music. I'm sorry. I can't play it. I don't want to get copyright claimed, all that stuff. But she can't figure out how to make Salah. How can you not figure out the Sims, foodie? Ugh. You suck at gaming. I'm telling you. So she created herself in the Sims. This is foodie in the Sims. D also says foodie Sim better have all that <laughs> slider set to max. <laughs> so of course she beautified herself in the sims even in the sims using those filters girl even in the sims is she playing music here let me just take a look yeah she's playing the music but there, there's foodie playing the sims all right this is off topic from foodie I'm a fan of Tori Amos. There's a picture of Miss Tori. And you're right, Maddie. That would be great as a printed poster for Miss Amos. And this is kind of sad for anyone who's a fan of 80s movies. Then you recognize this person, Julian Sands. He starred in the movie, the Warlock series. 
he's done so many different things. He's a very talented man. He unfortunately has passed away. So condolences to his friends and family. Uh, you, wonderful acting, Julian. Wonderful. Okay, D also says she didn't read any of the tips talking about her Sims uh, live stream. Click past them to get them to go away then starts asking the chat how to do everything. I've seen a 10-year-old with no gaming ability problem solve better to play a game. After three minutes in CAS, she says, this is so hard, guys. It's the Sims. I, I know, right? <laughs> Girl, I play Stardew Valley. You would not make it in Stardew Valley. If you can't figure out the Sims, how are you going to deal with Stardew Valley? What's this? What's this? How do I get stuff out of my bags? And where do I find things? And how do I do the community center? Oh, my goodness. She would, not, she would lose her mind in Stardew Valley. And what would she do in World of Warcraft? Holy crap. She would hate WoW. <laughs> she would hate it. Booger's on one today. What do you want, Booger? Come here. Big girl. Um, but she would hate Stardew. She can't figure out the Sims. And the Sims is supposed to be very peaceful and very relaxing. And a lot of people like it. And look at her. This is what she does in the Sims. Look at her. You know, just find it. Do it. You know, she does things in video games that she would never be able to do in real life. She would get in trouble for her. But if she could live her fantasy life, that's what she'd do. Live in a world where she could just go around hurting people. You're, you're a twisted person, foodie. Okay, so Miss Floopa Booty. Yeah, so this happened while she was playing The Sims. Uh, it's amazing that Chantal, such a strong, proud woman, would allow her husband to bark at her during a live stream like that. You think with her fupa being as big as hers that she put a stop to it right quick so she was on his gaming channel and she was talking to people and she called people freaks and salah on the side was like hey like hey don't say that so let me just play the clip it when he says hey it's really really quick you I mean directly after she says freaks he says something and she was mad embarrassed let me just pull it up you guys can see. You guys are bullying me. Aren't you, you little freaks? <laughs> see that? After she says freaks, and he says, hey. And she was embarrassed. So she's sitting there smoking on her shisha, and she got real quiet for a second because she was embarrassed. That he said something to her, but you got to understand, Chantal, this is his gaming channel. You're not on your main channel and doing what you want. You're on somebody else's channel, although he's the big moron for letting you on his gaming channel. I mean, that just screams of desperation. You're, you're a gamer. You have a gaming channel. It's supposed to be about you doing the content, and you're so desperate for views and attention. You invite somebody else to take it over knowing how problematic and troublematic they are. Hold on a second, y'all. Oh, girl, I go out again. Go. There you go. She wanted to go out of the bedroom. Okay. So if, if you want, listen, Salah, if you're a professional gamer, you don't let somebody take over your channel, especially somebody like her. I mean, for real, come on now, get it together. All right. Remember what I said, y'all, we reactors, we would love to move on from talking about the same subject with Chantal over and over and over again. We'd love to. Trust me, we get tired of it. We get tired of saying the same things over and over again, talking about the same subjects over and over. We would love it if Chantal gave us something new and fresh. We would enjoy that very much. That's why we've all been wanting her to go back to Canada because it's the same thing over and over and over again in Kuwait. She won't show us anything new. And I'm not quite sure if she's doing that because she's trying to bore us to death to get us to stop reacting to her or she's just stuck in a rut and doesn't want to get out of it. But we're bringing up the whole subject of BBJ again. Or rather, she is. 
So when she does it, we're just giving our thoughts and opinions on it. And I honestly don't understand why she won't leave the subject alone because she did neglect the cats. So why would you want to shine any attention upon that? Wouldn't that be a subject that you just move past for the sake of your image or your channel? But yet she just won't leave it alone. So this is a, a post that she did. Uh, I'm asking for the help of my viewers. If you have any care or for BBJ and can help in any way, please let me know. If any of you care for BBJ, demand to see her. Put your hate for me aside and think of her well-being. Just because I had to rehome her doesn't mean I didn't love or care for her all those years. If I didn't, I wouldn't have gotten rid of her long ago. I know you are all sick of hearing this, but I'm sick and worried for her. If you are tired of me talking about something, just unsubscribe. No one should get to tell me how and when to deal with this issue. I am saying this publicly because maybe someone knows something. Also, if I was guilty of animal blank or blank, animal welfare would have removed them, period. I hope the cops do something about this. And then I sincerely hope you burn in blank. Okay. A few things, Foodie. Just a few things. We're not going to stay here overly long talking about this. I'm not going to rant about this this morning because I just woke up. You're lucky that I'm in a good mood so far. Although that might change. Uh, depending on how much caffeine I get in my system. <laughs> All right. So interesting choice of words here. First, you say up here. Okay. These are your words now. I'm going to use your words against you. First, you said, I had to rehome her. Right? You said that. All right. Now, first, you said, I rehomed her. Then down here, I would have gotten rid of her long ago so which is it did you rehome her or did you get rid of her because those mean two entirely different things rehoming means you love your pet and you're just in a situation where you have to give them to somebody else to take care of but getting rid of means you didn't want them so you just gave them up which is exactly what happened you were in a Big time hurry to get over to Salah. So you just found somebody that you thought wasn't connected to YouTube and you gave BBJ to that person. Interesting note about this person, Amy Flowers. Uh, in the text messages that you provided, Amy Flowers was allegedly bedridden. So you're supposed to be a good cat owner, correct? A good cat mama. But you're going to give an elderly cat with a myriad of health problems to someone who is bedridden, who would have trouble getting to the vet and getting them care. So make that make sense. I would think that if you really did care about BBJ, first of all, she would not have been in such poor health that even three to four months later after you got rid of the cat, that there's still medical issues that have to be dealt with, including mats. Matt's so bad that the vets can't take them all off. That's number one. Okay. Number two, why give the cat to somebody that can't get to the vet's office on a regular basis? That just screams, I did not care for my pets. I just wanted someone to take them so I can pack a bag and go. All right. So you can just stop now saying that you love the cats. Maybe you did for many years. But the moment you got all wrapped around the idea of being with a man, getting with Natter, then with Salah, you stopped caring about your pets. You started to really, really neglect in their care. You took all the focus off of yourself and your pets and you put it on men and trying to seduce men with money and everything just started going downhill from there. And everybody knows that. Okay, let's move on. Two-tailed caperer comments are turned off on everything again while well, she turned them back on. Uh, it's been a good long while since she's been this angry. Yeah, well, you know what? I knew she wouldn't keep the comments off for long because when she does, that hurts her engagement. And engagement on YouTube is very important. So 
Yeah, she has her little te temper tantrums. She throws her little hissy fit, you know. And then she goes back and she turns the comments back on. And by the way, Chantal, you don't want to see BBJ because you care about her. You don't want French Fry Girl to show BBJ in a live stream or video or picture or anything because you care, because you miss her. You just need content. You need something to talk about. You need something to rage about. You're wanting French Fry Girl to provide you with content. When what you could do is get your butt up and make your own content. How about that? How about that? Two-Tail Caper says it's 11.30 a.m. in Kuwait right now. She either just woke up or pulled an all-night rager. Take a look at her modest words at FFG in the bottom of her community post. What was that about never raging again? Oh, well, that got cut off, but that's the same post. Yeah, foodie lies, but foodie tells on herself. I'm not talking about this ever again. Proceeds to talk about it another 20 or 30 videos. Always on point, foodie. Okay, this is a little palate cleanser. Let's enjoy this. From Florida Salt and Sass. By the way, Florida Salt and Sass, that it looks lovely. That looks so cool. That looks so relaxing. Little campfire by the river. That make a beautiful ambiance video, by the way. Gorgeous. Well done. All right. All right, so Foodie, this is a clip from her driving video. Hidden Truth says there's no way she has a license to drive because there's so much that needs to be done before she gets one. And the first is that she has to be fluent in Arabic, which she isn't. She didn't even film herself ordering. Why? Hmm. I don't know. But this is a clip from the driving video. And yes, like the first place the foodie goes when she gets in the car is to Starbucks. Of course it is. She's been missing her Starbucks, y'all. She's been aching to get that Starbucks in her system. But we'll get into the driving video a little bit later because that clip is, is it looks kind of tiny. You can't see anything. Oh, yeah. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> Confirmation that her and Salah had a bit of a fight or an argument, if you will. So she posted this. Sweetest, sweetest, handsomest man. He even drew the potato face. When I'm feeling down, he lifts me up. You know, I spy with my little eye. I'm looking at that card. It looks like she wrote it, first of all. Secondly, Chantal, hello, Photoshop. I'm looking at this. It don't look right. It looks like somebody wrote the word cheers here on the card, and she blanked out part of the word. And cheers would be a word that Salah would actually say. So did he write cheers on it and you just like, you know, erase part of the word to make it look more romantic, Chantal? Sad. So sad. What did you guys fight about? Is it because you maybe snuck off in the car to go to Starbucks when you shouldn't have? You did a naughty no-no? Is it because you were on his gaming channel and you called people freaks and you were rude? Is that why? You just can't seem to keep out yourself out of trouble. Katie says, I feel like this confirms there was a fight. I don't, I don't know if there was a fight or if Chantal was just trying to act like Salah loves her and she bought her own flowers. Uh, that is something that she would do. Because remember, remember when she was seeing Natter and all those other men? Remember that whole debacle about her staging, leaving condoms staged in the bedroom to act like, you know, she was physical with people? Yeah, she did that too. Oops, I didn't know this was here. Oh, yes, you did. You were trying to look like you were hot to trot. And somebody was actually chasing you. Okay, this is from Shenanigans. Hey, Shan. Shenanigans had to leave a comment, and boy, did she let Chantal have it. Shan says, I thought you were letting it go, Chantal. You can't stick to a doggone thing you say. Take the L. There's nothing you can do about it, and you won't put your money where your mouth is. So stop trying to convince an audience of people who watched you ignore and neglect your pets for years 
that you are someone that you are not. You are the one making yourself look bad at this point. Or maybe this is for your new subs who don't know about you yet. If you just drop the issue, your new subs would have no idea what a piece of crap you really are. If you want to move on, stop bringing attention to it. You know people are going to flood your comments to alert your new viewers. Or maybe that's why you are doing this in the first place. Hate views bring in the money, don't they? I see you, the desperation, even at the expense of your reputation. Pathetic indeed. Drop the mic, Shan. You just told her all about herself. Get it, girl. Uh, <laughs> and it's all true. Not a single word that Shan said was a lie. It was all true. Okay. I posted this last night. I was up late. Uh, I was up with Erie, and well, we're sitting there going back and forth a new intro. And late at night, y'all, like around midnight, 1 o'clock, she dropped this huge mini novel community post. Ugh. She says, talk, see, going on about BBJ and French Fried Girl, she just won't let it go. She just won't let the situation go. Move it along now. The past is the past, Chantal. Anybody that says Chantal goes through cycles, I politely and respectfully disagree. I call it a circle because we go round and round about this. There's there's no stopping and starting something and starting and stop and stopping something else is different. It's all a circle. So this this is her raging out about French Fry Girl. This is a complete post. Still going on about Frenchie. And this is from the Mahouche. Did I say that right? I, I apologize if I, I am mispronouncing it. But this is from the, the food video. Uh, Holly says, BS. <clears throat> so anytime she makes a statement, I'm never going to address this again. Buckle up. It's a foodie beauty obsession. We will hear about it for the next year. You have no grounds to sue French Fry Girl Loser. No, she doesn't. And Foodie's talked about calling the vet and and contacting the vet. And the vet that has been seeing BBJ said, let her try. Just let her try. <laughs> you ain't got a leg to stand on, Foodie. No leg to stand on. That's why you're always sitting down. But let's watch the clip. I'm going to close a chapter of my life once and for all if only that were true if only we could close the chapter of all this stuff that we keep hearing about the same stuff over and over and over and over again oh my goodness can we do something new foodie can you show us something new can you talk about a different subject? Can you please get fixated on something different besides food, besides anger, besides talking about French Fry Girl and BBJ and oh my God, can we please just get past the past and show us something new and different in the present? Everything you talk about has been over talked, over discussed. It, just cut it out. It's boring. Mm. And that will be the chapter on the cats. They will forever be in my heart. No, you, no, that's not true because you don't have one. But go, please go ahead. But they are gone. Yep. Now get over it. I had to make that harder. I'm going to. The cats are gone. You're not going to get them back. Just move away from that subject. Move all the way away from it. There's nothing you can do. BBJ's in a better place. Sam's in a better place. Both the owners are taking better care of them than you ever did. Your new obsession is men. So go ahead. Be obsessed with men. Even though you're obsessed with men that don't care about you, please go right ahead.
be obsessed with these men. Pay for everything in their regard, you know, like rent a boyfriend, rent a husband, because that's all you seem to know how to do. Leave the pets alone. Let them live their best life. Okay, a little palate cleanser from Ruby Faye. Look at that. That is stunning. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And this too from Ruby Faye. <gasps> I love it. If, if that's a painting, I want to hang that on my wall. That's amazing. Oh. So there's Foodie playing The Sims. And she made Salah. Uh, Foodie Beauty is on Salah's channel playing The Sims. It's basically an open chat with no mods. Of course it's open chat. Of course it is. You know, she's trying to get as many people in there to send her money. It's sad and pathetic that a gamer is trying to use someone like Foodie, though, to, to grow his gaming channel. I mean, hide your head, Salah. Feel ashamed. Okay, I don't want to trigger anybody, but this this is a thing. So she showed a picture of Harry the hamster. And she put that hat emoji over his ear. And his ear's not looking too good. Don't know what's going on there. But I'm wondering if there is a situation with the ears. And that's why she put the hat emoji on top to kind of hide it. So what's going on with the hamster's ears, foodie? What's going on there? Want to talk about it? I take such good care of my pets, she says. Really? That does not look like a sign of good health. You're trying to cover it up. Anywho. Another palate cleanser from Boot and Bean. Look at the butter beans. Look at them. Look at the kitties. Aw. Look at the babies. Here's another one from No Cats, No Life. Kitties loving on each other. All right. Those of you that you love wine... You love grapes from Fegan. Look at those grapes. Oh, so lovely. What an amazing vineyard. I don't know the location of this place with those grapes, but it's just stunning. I mean, th those grapes are, they, they're so beautiful. They, it, it looks like a painting. Just absolutely gorgeous. I can just take pictures of that all day. Booty and the Sims again. Oh, here we go. <laughs> she posted this is her picture. Look, who is that? Do we know that person? Who is this? This is not Chantal. And don't think I didn't notice Chantal. You changed her eye color yet again. Your natural eye color is dark, dark brown. But for the sake of your live streams, you put on the green eye filter. Now you're doing amber eyes. This image here is not you at all. That's not your real eye color. You got the slimming filter. You got the skin smoothing filter. You got the big eye filter, bigger lips. That ain't you, mama. That's the you that you want to be. Yet you're not willing to work for. You want the filters to do the world work for you. Okay, this is Foodie being a bit delusional. This is from one of the uh, the Raising Cane food video. Cancer Warrior says, Foodie's saying fat gives you a lot more fuel for your body since she's absolutely sedentary and can't get off the floor more than once or twice. Sure, we all call, we believe her health and fitness advice. She has 450 pounds of fuel, so she knows. So let's listen to Foodie tell a bunch of lies. Fat. Gives you a lot more fuel for your body. Fat. Gives you a lot more fuel for your body. You know, foodie, the body for fuel, protein helps with the muscles. Carbs, that's what gives you the fuel to uh, get up and go. And if you consume much in the way of too many calories 
or sugar, fat, whatever, it turns into fat. So if your reasoning is, if you have fat that gives you energy, how come you're always so out of breath? How come you have trouble moving? You've literally created a prison cell of your own making with your own body being as big as it is. I mean, go back and go through your own videos. Go to the beginning of your channel. Take a look at how you look then and how you move then and how you breathe then. You were a lot healthier then. You could go out and do things. You could be around people. You've been on a lot of weight since then. And because of that, you are embarrassed to be seen. You have trouble moving. You have trouble breathing. Just walking across the room wears you out. So trying to use the logic of, oh, fat gives you fuel. No. Uh, eating the right foods, vitamins and minerals gives you energy. It keeps you healthy. Eating the right kind of carbs gives you energy. Being excessively overweight does not give you energy. Because if that were true, you'd be doing the Olympics right now. You'd be an Olympic runner, but you can't run, you can't walk. So there's some, there's some flaw in your logic. Okay, I'm a big fan of Hyde. I love Hyde. He's such a great singer. Uh, he's a Japanese rock star. Very talented. And get this, foodie. Hyde is in his 50s. And I don't know. He's got the fountain of youth or something. He looks like he's in his 30s. He's, he's living life. He's rocking. Big Hyde ex-Japan fan over here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and he's beautiful. Look at him. Living his best life at 50. Okay, that's about Amber. We're going to skip that for now. Okay, so that's it for all the Twitter stuff. So I was trying to get you prepared, y'all, for what's to come. So why don't we start with the driving video? Because I know that a lot of you out there, you're not a fan of watching her eat. I'm not a fan of watching her eat. So let's just put that off as long as possible. <laughs> Let's just put that off as long as we can. Although I will say there is a little bit of eating in this video, but not like to an extreme degree like she normally does. But let's just put it off as long as we possibly can. I mean, I'm, I'm saving the worst for last. <laughs> now keep, do, do the worst later. Okay, so this is Foodie's video, driving for the first time in a foreign country. Why couldn't she say Kuwait? She's in Kuwait. Every video is all about Kuwait this and Kuwait that. Why couldn't she say driving for the first time in Kuwait? Isn't that interesting that she won't put Kuwait in the title? Maybe it's because she's not supposed to be driving over there because she doesn't have a license. You do a little sneak driving, Chantal, and it's a big no-no. You're not supposed to be driving, so you're not going to tag Kuwait in this, are you? No, but let's cover the video regardless. Let's go, y'all. Oh, she did that horrible music. Nope, nope, we're not doing that. Oh, we're talking? Okay, that's good. You guys, it's already like 40 degrees out, and it's early morning. It's going to be so hot. Okay, I'm all strapped in. So she got up early in the morning, which is something that Foodie normally does not do. I mean, mornings just are not her thing. So I have a theory. And this is my channel. And I can give my theories if I want to. And I invite anybody else's theories or thoughts or feelings and opinions. Theory. Foodie has a problem with food. We know this. She's been going ham with the food lately. What foodie used to do in Canada was go out, go on her drives, go get her Starbucks, go to Burger King. It's early in the morning. I believe it was six o'clock in the morning when she did this. Why do I have a feeling that she grabbed the car keys to go out for a snack run while Salah was asleep? Why am I getting that feeling? Because she misses being able to go out and get her food. You know, she's trying to sneak around and do it. I, I just got that feeling. 
Or maybe she told Salat, look, it's hot. I'm going to go out to the car and cool off in the AC. Maybe he gave her the car keys thinking that's all she wanted to do. And she just ran off and got her food. And she decided, oh, this is a great time to do content. I can kind of do some throwback vintage foodie beauty content going for my snack run. So that's just my thoughts. I don't think she's supposed to be driving. I don't think she has a license, but I think her powerful urge to go get her Starbucks and go get some food overtook her. So she was out doing a munchie run. Ready to go. Yella. There's so many like bumps and things on the road in this driveway. All right, the roads are very busy. Put my signal. Look both ways. Oh, that horrible music again. Doggone it, Chantal. You know, this is a 12-minute video, Foodie. You mean to tell me you couldn't talk for 12 minutes? You had to put in a whole bunch of filler footage and put overlay the music on top because you didn't want to talk? See, missed opportunity right here. It's Kuwait. It's a place that maybe a lot of us have never been to. Why not talk during the entire video and point out different things and talk about different things? You can easily make dialogue based on what you see or what you've experienced. But no, she's going to be lazy and go find some copyright free music and put it over the top of the footage so she doesn't have to talk. And you wonder why your views suck anymore, foodie. Because of crap like this. Are we still doing the music? Yep. No, I'm not playing it. I don't know if it's copyright free or not. I'm not getting a slap from YouTube. No, I'm not. But this is filler footage. Okay, is she done with the filler footage? All right, fine. All right, so I'm going to fuel up the car with some gas so i'll let you know exactly how much it was <laughs> let's go oh by the way the stand for my car broke which really sucks because now i can't really show you guys exactly while i'm driving but we're gonna set it up and the next time i go i will show you guys so this is what the gas stations look like okay not to disrespect kuwait or anything but why do we need to see the gas station and is it respectful to show people like on camera that are not giving their consent why do we need to see this? It's just a gas station. Next. Now have some respect for people. Some people just don't want to be on camera. They're just going about their life, doing their thing, maybe going to work, going to see family. And they're not consenting to this. You know, like you're just pointing your camera out the window and showing people. You better hope that you don't get in trouble for that. Okay. So as you can see, there's a huge Starbucks with a huge lineup. But I drove all the way here, so I'm going to go. I'm hungry and thirsty. Let's see what they have. And that's probably the reason why she's doing this trip. She wants her Starbucks. She's been drinking the uh, homemade coffee, the instant coffee, saying how yummy it is. But anybody who's been watching Foodie for five minutes knows that she craves her Starbucks. She is a Starbucks girl all the way. Got to have her Starbucks. Got to. And she hasn't been able to do a proper Starbucks run in the longest. I hear they have new summer drinks. So there's a Kuwait flag there blowing in the wind. All right. That actually went really quick. I've only been waiting literally three minutes and I'm almost at the window. Awesome service, I guess. Foodie hates to wait for anything. She wants to drive on up to a drive through and be the first one in line or the only one in line. Foodie, you're doing this munchie run in the early morning. Of course, you're going to have to wait. People are on their way to work. They've got things to do. They're going to Starbucks to get their fuel so they can go out and do things. So what are you doing? You're going to get your Starbucks. 
They're making your content, your lazy content, because again, this is lazy content, y'all. Listen, I am grateful to see anything besides her sitting in front of that laptop box and eating food. So thank you for that, foodie. But this is kind of lazy content too, because all we're seeing is her in line at Starbucks when there's so much to see in Kuwait. This is this is another form of lazy content. But yeah, foodie, you're going to have to wait. It's early in the morning. People are going to work. They got things to do. You're just going to grab your Starbucks and go home. <laughs> Hello, I'm sorry, <laughs> Whoa, there's like a cool carousel right up ahead here. <laughs> it's not functioning right now, but probably later in the day. Okay, guys. Well, so what I got was a Fenty Lemon Mint Bees. It's called Breeze, but Bees, because we're Beezers. You hate me right now. Yes. And a tall iced spanish latte and the service was amazing here i just want to say okay i've got thoughts right now right here so imagine if you will you got a problem with food you love your starbucks you're wild about starbucks this is the first time you're able to go out and get starbucks yourself without your rental husband being beside you does anybody really think that foodie didn't get a whole bunch of stuff while she was there. You know she did. You know she got a couple of bags of stuff, different snacks, desserts, maybe a couple more drinks. You know she stacked up on all of her stuff. Because Salah's not there and she's always going to do things she's not supposed to do when nobody's around watching. So she, so she showed a mint drink. Was that to give the impression you're trying to be healthier, foodie? Because the food videos that you're doing, you might as well just, you know, just cancel that out. Knock it off. We know you're not being healthy. You're, you're not trying to be healthy. You might as well just get two full sugar, full fat drinks. Your diabetes in a cup. Just go ahead and get it. Stop trying to act like you're trying to do better for yourself. We know you're not. Just be your authentic self. Be real. Be honest. Of all the things you've given us on YouTube, honesty is something you've given us in very, very short supply. That's why the reaction channels, when you lie, when there's a bunch of holes in your story, we have to kind of fill in the holes with theories and, and speculation. You hate that, but yet you cause that to happen by just giving us lies and half-truths. We have to make sense of the things that don't make sense with you. But I know, looking at you, you got a couple of bags of stuff. You're gonna, not going to show everything off, but you load it up. And that little bitty drink you just showed us, come on, mama. Come on. I remember you going to Starbucks and you were double fisting drinks. You would get two of the biggest size Starbucks drinks you could. Loaded up with sugar, loaded up with the ice, loaded up with everything. And that little bitty drink's going to do it for you. Maybe that's what she drank on camera to show Salah, look, it's only a little drink. And then after the camera's turned off, you're going to really go to town on the Starbucks drinks. Tell me I'm wrong. At this Starbucks, I don't even know where the heck I am right now. But anyways, you get the idea. Yeah, yeah this has uh, strawberry sauce in it too. So let me just, I'll show you what I got to eat. In a second. Like how many drinks do you need anyway for one person? How many, <laughs> how many drinks does it take to fill up foodie? Answer as many as possible. Second. Let's try these drinks. I haven't had Starbucks in forever because around me is mostly, there is a Starbucks, but you know, there's other cafes that I, I frequent as you know. Let's try different ones. Okay. It has actual mint inside, fresh mint. Everything is mint here. I love it. You know I love lemon. She's not drinking that because she likes it. Trust me, if Foodie had her way, she would not drink that drink. She would drink something really sugary. It's basically dessert in a glass. She's doing this for Salah. Look, I'm trying to be healthy. Okay. Mm. Beauty zip. 
Ooh. Mmm. It's got a little fizziness to it. Very refreshing. I love it. Mm. Not too sweet. This coffee looks sweet, though. <laughs> so she just drank a drink. It was so refreshing, and yet she had to get that, too. <laughs> so refreshing. Why'd you get the other one? Let me try it. Mm, not too sweet at all. Nice and cold. Mm. We didn't see her order. You know, she probably asked for extra sugar, extra sauce, extra drizzle. I mean, how are we going to know? Oh, man, this is a real treat. I know, not like I don't treat myself every day, but whatever. And a sourdough turkey and cheese croissant. That sounds very good. Nice and hot. The service was so quick. Whoa, look at this. I don't want to get a sandwich the size of her freaking head. A little car dirty, but beauty bite. So there's cheese and turkey. It's melted. Mmm. I got 50 bucks. I got a $50 bet that says there's another bag that she got full of desserts. You guys agree with me? Let me know in the comments. Like a smoked turkey. <clears throat> Yummy. Well, now I know I can drive here. See, it's stuff like this that lets you know she's not on a health journey and she's never going to be on a health journey. <clears throat> As I've said before, you can't heal in the same environment that you hurt in. And you will certainly never heal what's wrong with you if you keep going around places and people that encourage the hurt. And for Foodie, one of those places is going to Starbucks. Because that's the place she goes to get her high-calorie, high-sugar drinks. If she ever wants to get healthy, she's got to stay away from places like that. But first time being out of the house in the car, driving by herself, and where does she go? Starbucks. That should tell you everything you need to know about how well she values her health. That was one of my fears. Um, yeah, it's interesting that she says that she has a fear of elevators, but she didn't she take the elevator by herself to do this drive? Yes, she did. And Salah wasn't with her. So I guess you lied. You're not really afraid of elevators. Or maybe you got over your fear because your wanting of Starbucks was greater than your fear. I'm managing my anxieties a lot more because, hey, even a year ago, maybe two years ago, I wouldn't even, um, I feel impersonal, not just wearing my glasses. You guys remember these Dolce and Gabbana ones? I wouldn't even think of living in a building on a different floor where I have to take the elevator. There's no way. When has Fodi ever lived in a place where she was not on the bottom floor? No? Sure. Maybe because I know if I get stuck, the level will rescue me like a hero. Apologies for her eating, guys. You know, you know I don't like it. But that's all she does in her videos. It's really difficult to avoid as a reactor. But my apologies anyway. It's not my favorite thing. Anyway. Even like when my grandmother was still alive and I would visit her like once a week, sometimes more.
She lived on like an upper floor of her building, and I would walk the stairs. It was hot. It was tough, and I would take like a couple breaks, but. To me, dying of a heart attack was better than dying in an elevator. <laughs> you can't take anything I say seriously, okay, guys? Like, it's called warped sense of humor. Get one. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, foodie? And I'm just going to say this out loud. The content that you're doing on your channel is not funny. Let me tell you why. It's not funny nor humorous to watch someone who has a problem with food monetizing their problem with food and making themselves unhealthy. You are very, very sick. You're very ill. You need inpatient, but you will never go to inpatient because you don't want anyone telling you what to do. You know, you're all about that life of whatever it is you do. You don't want anybody telling you what to do or feeling like somebody's telling you what to do. And in inpatient, you would have to listen to other people. You don't want to acknowledge the fact that you are out of control. You have no self-control. You are impulsive. In situations like this, with someone like yourself, you've got a problem with food, you need someone to take control because you don't have any control of your own. So you will not let happen what needs to happen. You come on YouTube and you monetize your problem with food and you look for people in your audience to fund your bad habits. And the people that come on your channel, they may like you. They may like your personality. The people coming on your channel, they may be new to you and not know of your past and the awful things you've said and done. You try to rewrite history so that they'll stay on your channel just a little bit longer and keep supporting you and keep enabling you, which is what's going on. And I say that calmly and kindly because I'm just not in the mood to scream at anybody today, but it's just facts. In a situation like this, when you have someone that they ha are addicted to food, You look for people to enable you in whatever way, be it with uh, verbal support, financial support. You know, she's not going out into the world and working and making money and spending that on her habit. She comes on YouTube and literally looks for people to support her, her bad habits. And so, you know, she's found a system to keep it all going to support any and all of her bad habits. And all it's doing is making her increasingly worse and sick. She will never get healthy. She's not interested in it. She's busy monetizing her hurts, talking about her hurts. So if you're monetizing your hurts, how can you heal your hurts? Just think about that, y'all. And the frustrating part about foodie is that she doesn't have to monetize her hurts. She can heal her hurts. She can seek therapy. She can seek help. But help is something that would mean she has to listen to other people. She has to be open to other people. And it's just not going to happen. I love croissant. Croissant. How do English people say croissant? Croissant or crescent? I have a croissant flake on my village. Sunny day, my car barometer says 37 degrees Celsius. But you don't feel it in the AC. <laughs> it's very hot. The streets and the roads are very hot. Always. You know, I find it interesting that Foodie claims to have an anxiety about people seeing her and people being around her. But yet here she is. She got in the elevator all by herself. She got in the car all by herself and she's driving around the city that she probably has no knowledge of. I don't see her freaking out. 
I don't see her afraid. So is her anxiety kind of like her depression? It's selective. It's when she wants to be anxious, when she wants to be depressed for the sake of a talking point on her channel, or does she really have anxiety or depression? In the past with Foodie, I noticed that her depression was selective. She would claim to have it, but yet when Natter called, she'd be putting on her makeup and putting on her clothes and out the door to go see him. And here she is talking about anxiety, but yet she's in Kuwait and she doesn't have much experience being around Kuwait. And clearly there are people around and no anxiety at all. So that makes me a bit nervous, but Oh, this is so refreshing. If you're in the Middle East, get you one of these. Well, you know what? You should have just stuck with that one drink. You didn't need the other one. Why are you double fisting drinks again? Classic foodie. All right. And, you know, this is, this is bringing me back, y'all. This is bringing me all the way back. I'm getting, I'm getting deja vu right now. I'm getting flashbacks. Uh, when she would be with Natter, and then as soon as she was done with Natter, she goes straight to a Starbucks and get her, her drink and then go to a BK and get her food. So Salah isn't around. It's early in the morning. He's probably asleep. She snuck off to get her food and get her drinks before he woke up. So doing the same behaviors that you did before, Booty, nothing has changed. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Uh, probably some of you are wondering if I need a seatbelt extender. No, I don't. I think newer models of cars make seatbelts big enough, which is good. Oh, more of the bad music. No, no, we're not doing it. <laughs> I, she says, I miss Salah. You weren't missing Salah. You weren't missing him in this moment. You got your food. You got your drinks. You're good to go. Okay, we're going to cut off the volume. More filler footage that did not need to be here at all. Is this it? Okay, is she talking? Okay, we're, we're seeing the highway. More highway footage that we didn't need to see. Okay, guys. So I made it home. I kind of got lost a bit. <laughs> I put in the wrong place on the uh, the GPS. So, but I'm home now. And um, overall, I would have to say, I think I prefer being a passenger princess. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, I wanted out of my system. I wanted to drive because Canada, I used to like to. But foodie, didn't you tell us that you did not miss driving? You're like, oh, I hate driving. It's so tedious. And it's so nice to have somebody driving me around. Now you're walking it back. Now you're saying I miss driving. Why don't you just put it all the way out there? You miss a lot of the freedoms that you had in Canada, like getting in your own car and driving whenever you wanted to drive and going on your runs. I'm going to say something true. I think that if you could go to Canada with Salah, you would go home. But the fact that you can't go with him, you have to leave him behind, that's a big factor of why you're staying in Kuwait. You don't want to be separated from him. You're afraid of what will happen while you're gone. You won't be there to control him. Also, you don't want to go home to Canada because you know you have no self-control. That all the temptations are there and you won't be able to stay away from them. The last time you went to Kuwait and came home that very night of your arrival back, you were high, high, mama. Oh, yes, you were. And you blamed it on Pete saying it was his fault when really it was your fault. So you're afraid of going home. Because you know all the temptations are going to be there and you won't be able to say no and you'll lose control. Also, on top of that, 
There's no villa to call home to. There's no roommate. You'll be completely by yourself. And there's one thing you don't know how to do. It's be alone with your own company and take care of yourself. But I felt lonely, honestly. I don't know. I'm so used to doing everything with Salah. And I just think that from now on, I prefer driving with him. But I don't know. Once in a while, I can go out. Who knows? Um, so yeah, and yeah, she was missing her Starbucks and she's like, let me just get this out of my system. Let's just get this out of the way. I'm craving my Starbucks. I'm going to go out and go get it while he's asleep. And if he wants to yell at me. Well, then by then it's too late. I've already got my Starbucks and I'm satisfied. Um, yeah. So thanks for coming with me. I know I didn't get to show a lot of the driving. We have to set up the, um, other stand we have because the one I was trying to use is kind of broken so we have a couple more <laughs> um so I'm gonna like set it up in this vehicle so that we can like drive and show you the drive and everything um, so let me get this straight you just spent money on a new iPhone for him a new laptop and you couldn't bother to get a stand for your phone I'm sure it's not that expensive Stop spending money on your rent a husband and you might be able to spend some money on yourself for a new stand. Um, a lot better instead of just snippets here and there, like wobbly snippets um, with the broken thing. So, yeah, anyway, this, this shows you her priorities are all mixed up. This is her YouTube channel. This is how she makes money for herself in Salah. And she's too busy spending money on him to invest money in things that she needs to make money on her content. Like too much money in his direction versus spending money on necessary tools to make money for them both. Moron. Wait. So I'm going to uh, head into uh, my home and um, yeah, I miss everybody. <laughs> but at least I got to fill the car and, um, you know, go out for a bit, get Starbucks, go on a coffee bees like I used to do. You know, when I saw this part, I got a sense of nostalgia from her. Like she really, really misses doing this, but yet she really can't do it anymore. And that's her fault. This is the life that she wanted. She designed it. She asked for it. She flew there. She got it. And now she's missing certain parts of her old life. Really missing it. And you know what? That's a great face, foodie. Hold still. You know, I love photography. That's a great thumbnail. Okay. So I got my thumbnail from where's my thumbnail. I got it. <laughs> but she's, she's so nostalgic about it. She misses Canada. And she would go back in a heartbeat if she could take Salah with her. Uh, so yeah, it was nice. Nice time out. But I miss my husband and, you know, being a passenger princess, I like that term, <laughs> is... And I'm clocking you on that old makeup, Foodie. That was from the night before. So did you stay up all night waiting for him to go to sleep so you can get up early in the morning and go get your Starbucks before he woke up? Overrate is underrated um, greatly. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the vlog. Let's go to the comments. Because a lot of people are saying she did this drive illegally because she doesn't have a license. Michael B. Petty says uh, she would need either an international driver's license or a Kuwaiti license, seeing as she's claimed to be a resident. Go ahead, foodie. Show us which one. Trick question. It's neither. Same as Canada. She loves to break the law while driving. Yeah, I, as I showed on Twitter... And one of the Twitter comments, for her to get a license, she would have to speak fluent Arabic, which she does not know how to do. So, you know, driving around when you shouldn't be, foodie. Uh, Vinyl says, finally, the beginning of the end of the stupid Kuwait arc. Now that she is mobile, she will indulge in every old and new vice she can find. And we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, that might be a possibility. She's 
feeling a bit courageous and she's got the car now and she's got access to the car. So what does that mean? Does that mean we're going to see more Starbucks runs? We're going to see her indulging in certain things? Is there an outhouse in Kuwait? We'll find out. Uh, Missy says, so is the plan to sneak off in the car every morning starting on Tuesday to hit up drive throughs to get your fix, then come home and eat your diet meals in front of the camera in Salah when he pays his daily visit to the condo? Might be. Maybe the reason why they got a new car is because Chantal could not fit in the old one. So they had to get her via vehicle so she can drive around. One I can't pronounce his name. One network says your dependency on Salah is so unhealthy. I agree with you. The fact that you can't be away from him for a couple of hours and that he's pretty much the only person you speak to face to face day in, day out is sad. You've been there for months now. And if you plan on staying, don't you think it's time to make some new kind of life for yourself? Go out and make some friends. I agree. Uh, making some friends would be healthy for her. But here's the problem. Chantal does not like other women. She looks at other women as being competition. She's very jealous, very insecure. So she couldn't even socialize with other women there. So she prefers to be secluded, away from other people, and just completely hyper fixate on whatever man she's around. And I'm sure it drives him nuts, but I don't feel bad for Salah because he signed up for this. He invited it. He wanted this. He got it. And so any misery, it's it's of his own design. I can't feel sympathy after that, knowing that. Uh, beanbag, that was in a hurry, says, I don't want to get the new car dirty. Crumb flies into the backseat. Yeah, disrespectful, foodie. You're in somebody else's car and you're going to sit there and eat and make a mess. Your Your manners are just atrocious. Uh, Amber says the AC blowing crumbs around in there like a snow globe. <laughs> well, that is her version of a snow globe. Squinty says nothing changes after all. Nope. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Mrs. Noodle says, what did you get at the gas station in at, at the gas station McDonald's? Yeah, because she, she got gas, but did she go in and get some other snacks you know we know that in the past she's eaten uh gas station snacks so did she load up there too you wonder let's see and of course she edited the comments she edited these comments Look at all these people kissing her butt. <laughs> uh, people saying star beezing. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of the people on our channel that remember the beezes to Starbucks, they're loving this because they're like, this feels like old school Chantal, but we're not going to see true old school Chantal until she goes back home. You know, she was feeling nostalgic. She knows that her content's boring. And she's just trying to give people a little bit of what they've been wanting. And she can't do it fully until she goes back home. Okay. So that's some of the comments. And I'm making an executive decision. I'm not going to cover the Mawoosh uh, mukbang here right now in this video. Uh, I think we'll just end it here. And I'll play the, the ambiance outro. Hope you guys enjoy that. And please let me know in the comments what you think about the intro that eerie worked so hard to make for me because i i really love it i think it's fun <laughs> it's a lot of fun trust me it's not easy to put foodie and ambiance together i think she did a really great job so i'm going to finish this video out with playing the what used to be the uh intro for the outro and that way you guys can relax a little bit uh after this react is over you can kind of wind down a bit so thank you so much for watching uh, hope to hear from you in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
And everyone have a great day. So watch this and relax and have a good one. Bye.